Are you ready to unlock the full potential of Google Gemini AI? Now, it's had a slow start, but it is getting better and it may just transform how you work with Docs, Sheets, and Gmail and the rest of the Google ecosystem. Now, whether you're an AI enthusiast or just a beginner looking to dive in, I'm here to help you get started with Gemini and show you all of its best features that work right now. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pete Moriarty, and this is my guide on how to use Gemini like a pro. Now, I've been using small business technology and teaching small business owners for over 20 years, and we help with small business owners all over the world to get their tech right in their business. Today, I'm gonna to try and highlight some of the best bits of what Gemini can do right now. There's been a lot of promises from Google, and to be honest, they haven't really hit the mark. And sometimes they've just flat out released things that didn't work for me. But I'm gonna try and give you the best bits of what Gemini can do that our team have tested and I have tested and that you can go and use right now in your account. And I'd love to know what you think. If you think I'm off the mark here, if you think Gemini is amazing, then let us know. So we're gonna start with where Gemini should be the best and that is in Google Docs. Gemini is pretty damn good at writing because it's got all of Google's like brain and database constantly updated and constantly available to bring sources of information in. Now, when I've needed to do technical writing or something that I know, you know what, I really want like someone who's read Wikipedia to write this, that's when I've in the past gone to Gemini to draft and work on documents that I would wanna put into a Google Doc. Now, personally, I don't do that all that often, but this is where I go to when I wanna do it in a Google Doc. If you have an existing document that you're already working on in Google and you wanna summarize it, you want to change it, you wanna update it, you wanna adapt it, well, Gemini is just one button away. And so personally, I do like having Gemini there inside my Google Docs rather than cutting and pasting information to GPT and trying to go back and forward between the two. GPT doesn't have a button that lets me click my finished work and move it over into Google Docs. I've, I've got to cut and paste it. And honestly, that's pretty painful. So as much as possible, if I'm already working in a Google Doc, I try and use Gemini. So it's gonna give us options to generate things like entire chunks of text if we want. We can do bullets, we can do tables. Like it's pretty capable inside the Google world. And because it knows that it's working in a Google Doc, it's gonna give you all of the formatting inside a Google Doc as well. The summaries that it creates, I think are pretty on point. Particularly if I've got a long document that that's maybe a transcription from a meeting. I can ask Gemini to summarize that and it does that really great, right? And the other thing that it does good is polishing because you've got those kind of prompts buttons there where you can just, as you're working, click one button and it's automatically gonna do that. Now, does it blow my socks off with its creative writing? Not necessarily. I think the tone and being able to use the features like memory inside of GPT really mean that I tend to go for creating something new to either Claude or to GPT, but this is a Gemini video. So <laughs> let's try and stick to what Gemini is good at. So you've got it there as a co-pilot in your Google Doc. Let's see where else we can use Gemini. The next one we're gonna look at is Gmail. And I really do find it useful within Gmail because obviously it's a Google tool, it's native, it's got all the information there ready to rock and roll. Now Google is automatically prompting for summaries of emails and summaries of conversations to be available to you with one click from Gemini. That's the kind of thing I love from Google. And remember, Google have been doing what was called machine learning, is now just AI, for many, many years. Many years before GPT and all of these other language model tools were released. And so that little ability to just integrate small prompts into their product that you can just click one button and you're using AI to get something done is something that Google do very well. The auto compose features, okay, that's obviously driven by their AI. Being able to condense a long conversation into just a couple of lines of summary, that's a new one. But what Google now lets you do is with one button, draft a response based on the intent of the email that it has detected. That I really love. Now, this is something that an external tool can't replicate. If you're trying to use Claude or GPT, you might use them for you know, individual tasks, but they're not right now gonna read your email and give you a prompt button that says, yes, answer in the affirmative or answer in the negative, and then type out the whole email with the context of the whole email thread. That is brilliant. And I love being able to have that feature. Would I pay for Gemini for that feature alone? Probably not, but having it there amongst all of the other features, okay, it's starting to build a slightly better case for me. Next up, let's talk about Sheets. And Gemini can help you 
analyze, visualize your data in just a second by clicking the button. But there's a little bit of a catch here. See, Google used to have the insights button here, which was doing this with machine learning anyway. That's been there for three or four years, maybe even five years now. And that has gone away from my sheet. So part of what Gemini is doing here is kind of like the same old, same old that was available via the insights button. And if you don't have Gemini switched on for your account, you may still see that insights button there. I hope they haven't taken it away for anyone else, but. I don't know because I have Gemini on mine, but what Google have done now is what they should have done three years ago, which is make these more adaptable to natural language. They were okay before, but Gemini gives you better suggestions I've found, and it's there to help you organize things. The other thing I like is Google are giving you the opportunity to see trends in large data sets with a single prompt. Previously, if you were asking via natural language in the insights tab, you had to be really specific to get a good answer. I had to say, give me the average of all the values in column B, and it would do that for me. But if column B had a couple of weird rows at the top, it would sometimes mess it up or say, sorry, I can't help with that. Gemini is kind of like the smarter version of that. And I'm really liking where Google are going with this. Now, one little baby feature that I've noticed is when I'm doing formulas, there's a little Gemini inspired prompt that pops up and is smarter at suggesting formulas. This doesn't really rock my socks, to be honest. Like these are small improvements that I would expect for Google to continue to do with its machine learning and computer assisted algorithmic prompts. But Google kind of, I guess, held back some of these features and they've just dumped them all into Gemini and they're calling it AI for spreadsheets, which doesn't impress me that much from a product perspective, but is still useful to have. And I find myself using these all the time. So this is probably a good place to break and say if you're a small or a medium sized business owner or you're an IT manager in one of those organizations and you need help with your Google Workspace account, maybe you're interested in working out what you don't know about the platform. We have a health check available exclusively for administrators of Google Workspace, whether you're a solopreneur to a small or mid-sized business right up to large organizations. And we'll actually go through and audit and analyze your account and see what's going on in this Workspace account. Have you got any security holes there because of the settings in the admin panel? Are there features that you're not yet using that you didn't know exist there? Or maybe are there some ways that we can save you costs because you're doubling up by using Slack or Dropbox or Zoom licensing for your team when a small bit of training and rolling out the Google equivalents of those tools could save you a bunch. If you're interested in that, claim that offer down below this video. Now let's move on to slides. And I have to laugh because the first few months of trying to use Gemini inside of slides were at first hilariously wrong answers to questions we were asking the image generator because it had that whole controversy of images that shouldn't have been generated. <laughs> Now, Google got a bad rap for this because these images were all over the internet from many different models. But I think Google hold themselves to such a high standard that everyone really piled on. And because GPT and all the other image generating tools were doing so well at the time, Google really got slammed. But image generation aside, you can actually have some pretty decent layouts generated automatically from just an outline of a presentation using Google Slides. You can even get design suggestions, which will help you to make your slides look better. And you can even have things like speaker notes typed up from generated prompts. And so I like that, it's useful. To be honest, I haven't used this much myself, but I haven't put together too many presentations lately. So I'd love to know from you, are you using this feature for your presentation? I know that my team certainly use this for some of theirs and anything where you can put in a prompt or click a button and things are easier and faster, I am a big fan of that. Now, something I do use every single day is Google Meet and Google Chat. We have a globally distributed team. We've got 60, 70 people in the company and they all need to communicate online. We all need to communicate online every single day across multiple time zones. We spend a lot of time on meetings. And let me tell you, we have every single one of our meetings transcribed in full and all of those have Gemini making notes on them as well. Now, does Gemini do anything that you couldn't do by taking a transcription, cutting and pasting it into Claude or GPT and asking for some insights? No, it really doesn't. It is convenient. It's nice to have a list of your action items from a meeting and the key things that were talked about in a meeting. And especially if you've joined a meeting late, having Gemini give you a real time summary of what was said in the meeting, okay. That's pretty cool. But personally, I use Fathom, which is a third party add on that joins my meeting and makes really, really great summaries. Gemini summaries are just not quite that good yet, but they are very close. So I'm using Fathom for the transcriptions. Google automatically transcribes everything for everyone into a Google Doc. And so if you don't want to pay for Gemini, you could kind of get away with just using the transcription. So 
Why do we use Gemini in Meet? It's convenient. It's nice to have it there. Would I buy Gemini just for that feature? No, but again, with all of these little individual features, I might not pay for Gemini for each of the individual ones, but collectively together, it's starting to build a case where Gemini is worth the investment. Now, chat, Gemini is getting better and better. Again, not that much different to the little automated snippets that Google created months and months ago that would read a thread and let you know what the summary of what was said in that thread is. But now, thanks to Gemini, of course, everything Google does that's AI is now Gemini. Well, you now have Gemini-based responses and Gemini-based summaries in the chat. That I like. It doesn't yet have the ability to give you a full Gemini-driven articulated response to your team like it does with the email feature, but I'm looking forward to them releasing that in the future. And we'll see where it goes with the improvements of Gemini in chat. I haven't seen anything that exciting like the ability to chat to Gemini and have it you know, pull up my chat messages and reply to my team members on my behalf. Wouldn't that be nice? But we'll see where they go in the future. So far I've covered individual apps and Gemini's little sprinkles and bits and pieces that it can do in those different apps. And I've got to say, it's nice to have there. I pay for Gemini primarily because I'm an educator and I want you to get the best and most informed opinion on how you can use Gemini in your business. And we've got an amazing community of people who watch this channel, who respond in the comments, who let me know exactly what they think about what's valuable in their business. Now, I don't make that much money selling Gemini. I don't make that much money selling licenses for anything. We make our money through services. So I try and remain as unbiased as possible about whether or not you should invest in what plan or what app or what add-on for your business. But what I do like about Gemini, and this is kind of like my underscore of where I think real value is emerging for me, in using this add-on to workspace. I did a query the other day and I made a video about it where I started asking Gemini questions about my business. And I said, hey, based on everything you know in Google Drive and every transcript of every meeting that we've done in the last couple of years and every conversation that I've got in my email, tell me about my business. Tell me what you think we should be working on. Tell me about where we're at right now and if we wanna communicate to potential investors or we wanna communicate to a bank that we're trying to get a loan from. What is the essence of this business? What are we trying to build and where should we go in the future? And let me tell you, the answers that I got were phenomenal. My business partner, Scott, who's the CEO of our business, is working on strategic plans for the next five to 10 years of our company. And the questions that we were able to ask Gemini allowed him to produce a document that is absolutely stellar. Think about the hundreds of conversations that you have with your team over long periods of time. For us, they all happen on Google Meet and every single one of those for years has been transcribed and recorded and lives inside our Google Drive. Well, being able to question, query and gain insights from that vast knowledge resource is absolutely amazing. And I think that is worth the price of a license alone.